Over the years, technology has revolutionized our world and daily lives. Modern technology has created amazing tools and resources, putting useful information at our fingertips. Some of the most exciting discoveries and inventions have paved the way for technological revolutions, which have made life better and easier. The world has moved from gas guzzlers to electric vehicles, even to self-driving cars. One of the products of advanced technologies, drones, which have been popularly used as entertainment and delivery machines, has now gone above that. The latest upgrade with drones is self-flying passenger drones. The world's first passenger drone, which is capable of carrying a person into the air while it self-drives, has been unveiled in China. Let's take a look into the futuristic world where self-driving passenger drones become a part of the daily commuting. Most of the amazing facts about the passenger drone you don't want to miss are kept at the end of the video. Flying vehicles zooming through the sky and in between skyscrapers seemingly unhindered by gravity has been exclusive to the realm of science fiction for a long time but flying cars might be dragging themselves out of the sci-fi or fantasy home into the real world. This means that the dream of flying over traffic is now closer to reality. The world's first passenger drone, the Ehang 184, made by a Chinese tech company, Ehang Intelligent Technology, made its debut in the southern city of Gongzhou, China. The electrically powered vehicle, the Ehang 184, is operated by an automated flight system, so passengers don't have to bother with driving. All passengers need to do is get into the small cabin and fasten their seat belts, and the automated flight system takes over from there. In a company video showing the Ehang 184 flying, it looks like a small helicopter, but with four propellers spinning parallel to the ground in a similar configuration to other drones. Hu Huasi, the co-founder of the Chinese tech company, said that all the traditional flying vehicles cannot achieve the goal of fully autonomous flying, so it's still far away from being used in daily commuting. But debuting the passenger drone and flying it means the scenes that we only see in science fiction movies such as Blade Runner are now very close to common people. Derek Shang, the co-founder of Ehang, also made it known that the drone can help people to avoid the traffic on the ground, but also in other applications it can be used in the case of emergency rescue or to transport patients to the hospital or for tourist activities, which means that the drone can fly from one island to the other. The drone maker Ehang claimed that the vehicle runs on electric batteries and it can carry a single passenger weighing up to 100 kilograms at a time for a 23-minute flight using its eight propellers on four arms. According to the company, the drone cabin fits one person together with a small backpack and it's fitted with air conditioning and a reading light and also designed to fit with propellers folded in a single parking spot. After setting a flight plan, passengers need only to give two commands which are take off and land, both of which are done with a single click on a tablet in the drone. The single passenger drone is designed to cruise at an altitude of 500 meters off the ground with a maximum altitude of 3.5 kilometers. The drone can also fly at a maximum speed of 100 kilometers per hour, covering up to 64 kilometers on a single charge. The drone can be fully charged in two hours. It's also made known that the passengers can get the drone to stop and hover in place if needed, and the company believes that they could get flying permits in 80% of the countries and regions around the world. The company claimed that the drone has been tested more than 100 times at low altitudes in a forested area in Guangzhou, including several times with a person on board. It's also claimed that the drone is designed to withstand moderate gale winds of up to 50 kilometers per hour. But the biggest concern remains safety. Huwasi said that the company has special fail-safe systems that take over in the event of malfunction. The passenger drone has no passenger override function, which means that anyone can travel in the drone without a pilot's license. However, this also means that the user won't be able to take control in an emergency. In the light of this, the company said that it's planning a remote control center that would take over the vehicle in the event of a problem and ensure it landed safely. The company also claimed that one feature that made the passenger drone safer than a helicopter was its numerous propellers. It said that even if three of the four arms had their six propellers disabled, the final arm's working propellers would ensure a rough landing by spiraling towards the ground. The Chinese tech company also incorporates the Ehangin failsafe system, which means that in the event of a malfunction, the drone will immediately land in the nearest available area. Several regulations and guidelines have been laid out for regular drone use, and a human passenger drone will certainly face strict scrutiny. Due to this, the Chinese firm Ehang has partnered with the Nevada Institute for Autonomous Systems, NIAS, and the Governor's Office of Economic Development to put the drone through testing and regulatory approval. Tom Wilczek, the Governor's Office of Economic Development Aerospace and Defense Specialist, said that the state of Nevada, through NIAS, will help guide Ehang through the Federal Aviation Authority, FAA, regulatory processes with the ultimate goal of achieving safe flight. Huwasi said the move would lay the foundation for Ehang's 184's commercialization and kickstart the autonomous aerial transportation industry. 
company hopes to begin the testing of Ehang 184s very soon and will have to prove airworthiness to the FAA with guidance from NIAS before being able to operate in a wider capacity. For some years now, Nevada has been positioning itself as a testbed for advanced transport solutions, being one of the first states in the U.S. to permit the testing of autonomous vehicles on public roads. The company has recently shared the development of Ehang's 184. It said that the Ehang 184 might be the multi-rotor aircraft with the world's largest propeller, and to avoid the problem of controlled divergence in its autonomous flight, they need to do a variety of algorithm optimizations for the flight control system to ensure that such a large multi-rotor aircraft can fly in the air stably so they could provide passengers with a better ride experience. The company, based in Guangzhou province of southern China, already makes camera and hobbyist drones, but its passenger drone could be the first of its kind. Capable of transporting a person via air in the same way Google's self-driving car can via road once it achieves a safe flight. Shen Xiao, Ehang's chief financial officer, said the world has never had something like the company's autonomous single-passenger drone, and that company hopes to sell the device for $200,000 to $300,000. The company, which also makes smaller drones, said that it has raised $42 million in capital from various investors, including GP Capital, GGV Capital, Zen Fund, and others, after raising $10 million in the process of manufacturing the drone. Dubai is the first country to acquire the world's first single-passenger drone. The arrival of the Ehang 184 in Dubai was announced by the head of Dubai's Road and Transportation Agency, Matur al Tire, at the World Government Summit. The use of the passenger drone in Dubai will be the first time the electric vehicle has been in regular use anywhere in the world. al Tire said the agency planned to put the Ehang 184 into operation in Dubai, and it already had its flying debut over the country's Burj Al Arab skyscraper hotel. Dubai also announced a plan to cooperate with Ehang to develop self-flying taxis that can take people across the city. The Chinese tech company also had envisioned other possible future uses for the unmanned aerial vehicle, drones which include helping police patrol and building bridges and other architectural structures. It could be really amazing to see the passenger drones perform other functions apart from helping people avoid traffic on land. With Dubai being the first country to acquire this self-flying single-passenger drone, it means that it's a matter of time before we see the passenger drone flying around the world, from one city to another. What do you think about the world's first passenger drone? What do you think about the future of electric vehicles in the years to come? Let's hear your views or opinions via the comment section. We'll be glad to hear from you. And please, do not subscribe unless you are into electric vehicles, because that is what this channel is all about. Now, let's watch another fantastic video from our channel, and I'll meet you there.